we all know why you're here. You're here for part of the new series that I'm calling, Who the F*** Did I Marry? I'm going to create this playlist We're back with that of, viral TikTok series, Risa Tisa, talking about I marrying, then divorcing a man she says turned out to be a pathological liar, divorce. getting hundreds of millions of views for her honesty. This morning, we're here to talk about the next chapter of her life. Welcome, Risa Tisa, back to GMA. Oh, Good you. to see you again. Oh my goodness, I am so happy for you. Thank you. We saw each other in March. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We now did. you are a part of the Disney family. I Thank am. you so much for that. I got a TV series in yes. the works. You're excited about it? I'm so excited. I'm. I mean, I am bursting at the seams. I'm glad the news is finally out. Mm -hmm. But I'm so excited to be working with Natasha. Oh, Diane. Natasha Rothwell. Because when we sat down, I said, "Who would you want to, <laughs> to play you?" And you put it out to the universe. I did. She's not only starring; she's mm -hmm. producing it. And this is what she said about your video. She said they are a vulnerable act of honesty. What was it about you two that connected so much? Honest, so for me, I've loved her ever since she played Kelly in Insecure. Mm -hmm. And once I discovered that she actually wrote that character, I felt like, okay, this is someone I can trust to take this very serious story, yeah. add some humor to it, and present it to the world in a way that I felt like still keeps its integrity. So I, it's it's all about trust. I trust her with what has essentially become my baby. Oh, <laughs> that story. is, it yeah. is, it is, it is. And she sees you, yeah. she sees you, and that makes a big difference. So much has happened over these months for you, including you got a house. I did. I became a homeowner. And, and your realtor played a, uh, a part of the story, the too. The same realtor that was in the story, the one that told me, hey, you know, something's not right. So if you need to do this by yourself, I will represent you. Um, Amber, her name is Amber Steele. Mm -hmm. she, she was my realtor. She, she kept her word. And I told her, I said, when I'm ready, you're going to be the first person I call. And she was. Because when you got married, that was one of the things that you yeah. wanted. And you, yeah. and you got it for yourself. I got it for myself. And I was my own proof of funds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know what? Um, I love seeing that just even the, even the smallest things when it comes to the, the house yeah. brings you joy. Yeah. I want people to see this. Okay. I'm going to enjoy staring at faucets and choosing which one do I want to use for my home. That's it. It's just the pure joy it is. that you have. And everybody remembers you, London, that was on your bucket list. And you got there and to Paris as well. So was it everything that you were expecting? London was a whole vibe. Like, I, I'm just looking for a reason to go back. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved the meeting the people, mm. eating the food, just seeing everything about it. At my heart, I'm a nerd. So I <laughs> loved it. I absolutely adored it. And I loved Paris. Yeah. yeah. I, that's what we loved about it. You're just a big old nerd, and you admit it. You admit I admit it. it. <laughs> yeah, why do you think people just really, there was something about your story, your, your, your brutal honesty, that just connected with folks? My hope is that in just seeing me in a very raw form, really is what got people's attention because I feel like in so so much with social media we don't see that vulnerability mm -hmm. um, and for me it really just came to a place where look I, I don't have it in me anymore to fake it this is who I am this is what I went through the good the bad the yeah. ugly but you know what I'm still here and, and that, I'm and I survived it and that's your message for folks yeah. for them to know that as yeah. well and all the things that have happened to you you've still stayed yourself yeah how have you been able to do that because a lot has come at you Ooh, a lot yeah um, you know at the end of the day I, I'm so grateful that I have a group of people around me my mm -hmm. mom my family my aunt my grandfather my cousin who I'm sure is watching this but I have a group of people who keep me grounded I still go to work every day so mm -hmm. I still have the co-workers who were like look you're still just Teresa to us mm -hmm. and I love that because it, it keeps things in perspective yeah it so really I love does. it. I can see it. I can see it just like I sit down with you in March. The same, the same that you have always been. All the best to you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to keep in touch, right? Absolutely. Can't wait to see it on screen. And we will very soon. Yes. All right, thank you, Risa. We thank appreciate you. that.